Hello again, everyone. This is Python programming part three. Um, as a quick reminder, we're still working with the uh, with that website here, where you can do everything online without having to worry about downloading any software or working with any um, text editors. You can do everything just on the web browser. Um, now we're gonna we're gonna be doing some uh, um, uh, mathematical or arithmetic calculations, um, working with some numerical values. Um, to get started, we can we can just um, uh, get these numerical values um, from from the user. Suppose suppose the user um, is buying an item, and this item has a description. Um, and please be patient with me here. Um, and this is going to be coming from the keyboard. Enter your item description like that and um, now the item should have a price and this price will also be received from the user but if you remember last time when we had to work with the numbers we had to convert them so let's just convert uh, because they were strings um, we could not do calculation with strings even though they looked like numbers but they were treated in the background in the python um, uh, by the python interpreter as a um as a as a variable of type string not of a variable of type um of type uh, um, fraction or a number and to be able to receive an item of, of any fraction of a sort um, we might need to actually use the float um, like that and um, actually um, I might want to enter here first input so here we can say enter the um, enter the price and this price should be also converted into a float immediately like that um, and maybe we need also to do some of these commas and so the the printing is not gonna be stuck next to the text message um, so we enter a price and um, we also want to enter um, maybe I don't know maybe uh, another item so uh, item two price like that and uh, we can say enter price enter item one price item one price like this and maybe you can also to make progress we can copy quickly like that I don't think I will worry about the the description for now uh, it's just uh, I'm just gonna get rid of this and maybe you can work with these numerical values like that so that would be uh, item price two item price three like that and to be able to, to distinguish these variables we can make it item price uh, number one item price two item price three like that so if we if we work with these guys um, maybe we should we should just print them um, item price one like that and now we can simply just copy and paste this variable name here and now we can also print um, instead of printing we can also make quick progress to avoid having very long lectures um, or videos I mean so now we're gonna do item 2 and then price 2 um, and then actually this is a print here like that um, and then we can also work with the third item as well so item 3 and price 3 like this um, so let's just um, let's just run this and see what happens um, enterprise um, first price 12.99 uh, second one is um, 4.29 and the third one um, I don't know maybe maybe five dollars um, and because as you can see because we converted all of them into fractions even five dollars when we entered it from the keyboard as a, as a real number that has no fractions um, still or, or what I meant here as a real number as an integer um, it did not have any fractions still being converted into a fraction right away because we used the float function here um, so we were able to get the um, we were able to get um, the actual prices from the um, from the user let's just sum things up um, sum the prices so to be able to do uh, the sum of the prices 
um, prices like that we basically have to take these variables one variable at a time um, price two um, variable three uh, item price three and then um, basically saying um, let's print the sum of all prices like that um, can can be calculated uh, can be printed because what we what we did here we basically used all these variables three variables together we added them up and we we store them here into this variable that we call sum of the prices or sum prices um, doesn't matter what you call it is and any arbitrary name will work um, so now what we can do um, having to run this one more time this is this is the um, reason why um, we have to run it again we have to execute all of these things because once they are printed here they are not stored anymore <coughs> excuse me so now um, the, the first one was 12.99 the second price was um, 4.29 like that and the third one I remember it was five bucks let's use seven bucks so now we printed all the all the prices and as you can see uh, it ended up it ended up doing all the sum for all of us um, and then the sum here is indeed uh, 24 28 um, now how do we how do we work with the average suppose you want to calculate the average price for the three items um, the average is essentially um, the sum over the number of so let's just um, define the average first so the average here the average is calculated as the, um, the sum divided by divided by the number of elements and to make this um, in one line that's what we can do so I'm gonna take the sum of the prices and clearly we have three elements here so um, if we divide and uh, forward slash here is the actual operator that helps us uh, to do the, um, the division and we are going to divide by three and being able to do this this is this will be able to print uh, to, to give us the average but uh, let's just also declare a, um, a placeholder as well a v e r a g e like that um, so the average here is essentially a variable or a placeholder that will um, store the result of the calculation coming from the hand right um, the hand right side the side um, from the right hand side and um, it's going to be stored here so what we need to do is to um, print the average the price average like that I keep making the same um, mistake over and over um, and now we can uh, we can grab the average here and of course every time we have to run this we have to make sure that we uh, there is another way actually um, instead of doing this and having to enter the key uh, the, the, the variables from the keyboard um, I'm going to show you another alternative so clearly here the the interpreter is not happy because we removed the de definitions of these guys and this is the first time they know what they are so I'm just going to declare these variables and give them a specific value here 12.99 like that so now we need item 2 um, what well, item 2 was 429 I think 429 like that and item 3 was seven dollars uh, we don't need to put the 7.0 just seven dollars is okay and as you can see the the uh, this uh, the the this red line the curly uh, um, underline um, here of the of the variables showed up again but if we declare the variables it will um, understand that these variables are already defined so now uh, we don't if we run this again we don't have to enter these things from the keyboard as we've done here before because it's already been done so what we can do right now is 
um, clearly seeing that the sum of the prices was 2428 exactly and um, as you can also see the average is 8.8.09 um, and um, I am not exactly excited about this um, having a very long um, a very long uh, um, fraction uh, decimal point so what I'm gonna do is essentially using the format here so the format will take the actual variable like this and um, it's also going to uh, ask me uh, what, what sort of formatting that we want we want two fractions so I want it to be 8 0 0.9 like that and um, what I need to do is print this guy like this so uh, if I run it um, it's going to give me the exact one here so what I need to do now is to um, remove this one and then I will just pass the exact um, message that I wrote here like that and if I run one more time um, I will see a really nice message here um, what about what about calculating say um, the price for uh, the tax the tax the sale uh, the sales tax or a tip or something when you go to a restaurant um, this is really easy so suppose that I want to pay 10% tax on the on the item prices so uh, I'm going to multiply by 10% um, um, 0. 10% like that this is gonna calculate the taxes or sales sales tax like that and um, this is gonna apply we're gonna apply the sales tax on on the on all the three items so we're gonna apply that for the sum um, and then what we need to do after that is to take uh, to calculate the total price total price after tax will be the, the sum of the prices plus the sales tax like that and uh, this is gonna give me the total like this and uh, what I need to do now is to print uh, the total after tax total after tax like that um, and then we we'll take this total and uh, print here maybe also if we want to print the sales um, printing the actual value of the sales tax sales tax like that so we're gonna take this guy here and we're gonna print it so if we run this we're gonna see everything here so the sales tax 2.42 very long and uh, the actual total is 26.708 blah 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 it doesn't matter anymore but now we see um, we can also do the formatting as well um, but it's we already done it here one time so we can actually do it over and over and over and over we don't have to repeat that again um, what about the discount uh, suppose there are some items that have um, a discount um, so the item say item one had a discount of 15 percent uh, 15 percent um, that would be uh, uh, we're gonna multiply and the star here is operated for the multiplication and zero the the um, decimal point 15 is my uh, discount discount like that and you realize when we do the taxes we have to add the uh, the sales tax to the actual price here what we need to do is to actually take the actual price and we subtract because you don't want to be paying more if you're getting a discount right so we're gonna be doing that so we say the price after 
discount so um, by applying the 15% tax here is gonna give me something really nice to work with so we can print the message it says the price for item one price we can just make a nice message here item one price um, I can say after tax sorry after discount and we're gonna take the price after discount like that and we're gonna print it here I am so sorry I'm gonna put it here right here again um, now that should actually work um, so if you take a look at this so the item was uh, $12.99 and now after 15% tax, it was 11.04. So clearly um, um, this looks right. If this item was supposed to be, uh, if the value here was supposed to be like 13 or 14, then you know for sure that you uh, you actually have made a mistake. So having the item um, being smaller in value, um, after you apply a tax, it means it's a really good indication that your work is correct so far and um, it doesn't give you uh, any indication that what you've done was not correct so we basically ended up um, prompting the user to enter some values we took these values we calculated uh, we calculated the sum um, and then we ended up removing removing these uh, um, values from the keyboard and we assign them here so we don't have to have the user enter all these values all the time so they will just be ready here and then we showed how to calculate the sum and then how we calculate an average by dividing the sum by the number of uh, of, um, of elements and then we did some formatting for the numbers based on certain number of, of decimal points and then here we showed how we can calculate tax or maybe uh, doing, uh, doing tip uh, and here when you when you when you pay tax you pay more money so you have to uh, you have to add the tax or the tip to the uh, to the actual value and here when you're getting a discount you calculate the discount and then you have to subtract it so you get less uh, you pay less not you pay more um, that's it for today and uh, thank you for watching